I'm Zayna Juliet. Sicka sicka see? You know me. Real as it gonna be. I'm gonna make you smile. One girl. That could alter the course of history. Forever. Ow! Zicka zicka zee. Join me in my gumbo of entertainment. I'm Zayna Juliet. And now, here's Zayna. Thank you for joining me. You're watching Zayna Juliet and Friends. And today is so special because I have a special guest with me today. Well, let me tell you a little bit about him. He started his career at an early age when he was one of the contestants, one of the youngest contestants who became one of the finalists on the hit show American Idol season two. He is absolutely, without a doubt, phenomenal. He also went on from there and became an actor, got into film, he hit the stage, he's into music, but I have to tell you this, he is an incredible singer. He has a five octave range. It's quite, quite amazing. He is one of the most versatile performers and singers I've ever seen. And when I say versatile, he can do all genres of music. And I want you to see this guy. And when we get back, I'm going to introduce you to my guests. We'll be right back, right after this. Wasn't that incredible? I have to introduce you to my guest friends at home. This is Lou Gassara. Hello, how are you? Thank how you so you? much for having me, Zayn. You are incredible. Thank you so much. I have so to much. say, you are incredible. And we've been sitting here chatting, and I found out so many amazing things about you. But one of the things that I that's like blown me away is your stage performance, and and. Um, Watching your videos, I was very, very impressed with the range of music that you can do, the styles of music. And can you tell my friends at home a little bit about you as an artist and where it all began, starting from your American Idol days. Idol back, day. back, way back, back when. But that wasn't so long ago. Uh, 18 years ago now. Again, I, we talked just a little bit before we got on camera about uh, me being a sports guy and football, small town, New Jersey, yeah. and as you can tell from the build, I'm not going to be a lineman for the Jets or anything like that, so it was um, a choice I had to make. Uh, but I've also been keeping active with my singing career and uh, trying to be on stage as much as possible. I plan on moving out to Las Vegas, and I'll tell you why. It's not New Jersey. I think it is a cool place to meet different other musicians and entertainers. I think it can give me a lot of opportunity for new work. Especially being from a small town as well, you know, doing tap and jazz and having the, the jocks, you know, kind of, you know, bust your stones a little bit and, and, and raw your feathers. And I said, hey, I said, I'm following my passion. I said, I am the only guy with 30 girls in the class that didn't hurt either. And uh, <laughs> uh, developed from there. And I decided that I wanted to just try it. If I didn't try my passion and I went a different path and didn't follow that, then I would kick myself later on in life. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I think you have went down the right path.
for a very prestigious award, and that would be the Broadway World Awards. You were nominated for Best Performance. That tells a lot, and it, it was because of, mostly because of your performance here in Las Vegas. Yeah, with Vegas the show. It was, um, show. It was pretty awesome. I'm very honored. It's a humbling experience to be part of that, um, I'll call it a campaign. Uh, you had every show in town that was the part of that list, Jersey Boys, uh, you know, even tribute shows, individual concert artists, they all had different categories, and you're pumping out the social media, you're getting the word out, people were voting, it's total fan-based, so anybody from, from the entire city of New York and that beloved Broadway community to all theater communities and subscription house tours everywhere across the country, of course, especially here in Las Vegas for the shows that we were uh, performing in, and it was an honor. And it was for multiple roles, mm -hmm. so it was not just uh, one character as you might play in a, in a specific musical, but I got right. to pay tribute esque in a way, with still being myself, to uh, the great Mr. Vegas, Wayne Newton, Frank yeah. Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Tom Jones, Elton John, and then we had our own show style persona that also was part of that entire uh, Vegas to show, the glory days, golden era kind of presentation of Vegas. And, and it was like a musical in a way, and it told its own story. I love it. I love it. And you see what I'm saying, friends? As when he named all those great artists, his diversity in music is so broad. It's mind-boggling from jazz, blues, rock, R&B, funk, pop, soul. Did I mention opera? <laughs> he is a phenomenal opera singer. Well, you oh can't, you can't get away without singing opera you for your nana. When your nana tells you to sing opera, I mean, you sing opera. You know, like I have the chills here on my face and on my arms because Thank it's you. so phenomenal. How long have you been doing opera? You know, I was, uh, I've, all my life pretty much, I mean, I didn't get an early start as you did. I got a little later start in, in as far as taking singing and performing seriously. It wasn't until my high school years uh, where the initial focus was, uh, I would say, on, on Broadway tunes, which has a legitimate style, especially at that in that uh, era it did, you know, the Les Mis, um, Jekyll and Hyde style uh, songs that I would like to sing. But the opera, specifically Italian, even just classical singing, did come from a family um, influence, which is where almost everything in my live stage show comes from. It's all a piece of how I was touched in one way or another. My great-grandfather sent my aunt to Milan to study opera. She was a beautiful alto singer before she went down the family path and had children. My grandfather played first clarinet in the Airmen of Note, the United States Jazz Band, the uh, Air Force Jazz Band. So all these different influences were there, but the opera, I never took formal training. I listened. I had the old Encyclopedia Britannica. The, uh, <laughs> it came with the big three-volume uh, dictionary that had the multiple language phonetics in the back, and it showed you how to sound out different um, GN, and things like that in Italian. Oh my God. And I 
had the lyrics from Romanza by Bocelli, this uh, new Italian singer that no one had heard of before mm -hmm. until David Foster got his hands on him. And uh, <laughs> I started singing Time to Say Goodbye or Conte Partiro, and it was a hit time uh, song at the time. So good. I was singing for funerals for the church, and oh. uh, whenever someone from the community had, had passed on, mm -hmm. uh, I was asked to come and perform. I didn't do it for any money because, you know, I was already charging for local shows and weddings, but when people usually plan oh, yeah. for those things, they don't always plan for the other, and I felt like it was my way to give back. That's uh, very important to uh, have with a trait that an artist should have, is that um, giving back and being so humble, that takes you to the top. And it's really, I mean, it really means a lot to me because um, I'm the same way, artist to artist. Like a, a lot of times we do music, not so much just for showing off and everything. We do music because we have something to give back, because we have something to say, yes. because it's in our, it's, it's a passion of ours. And we are on a mission. You know, many people don't understand that. But people like you, artists like you that are so talented, they never really think so much about, I'm gonna get rich off of it. Those aren't the, those are the ones that's no. not, those are the ones that are most talented. They are just focusing on their craft and honing it in because what happens is, those are the ones that become the most successful. Because everyone in the industry on that level, they wanna work with you. They wanna work with Lou Gazzara. That's who they want to work with because they know they're not going to have the big head and the egos to deal with. I'm welcoming it, please. Yeah. Well, my producer just to tell us, yes, my producer just say, leave your egos outside the door. You know, and, and back in LA when I was doing music, they were strict, very strict. The producers there are strict and they don't want to deal with no egos that drop no. you in a second. But when it's someone special like you, Ron, Ron was so right about you. Ron Garrett called me, I cannot tell you, everyone, everyone knows that I, I really, really love me some Ron Garrett, you know. Um, Ron Garrett, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again, now he's in this room. Ron Garrett is the one who's responsible for this program. He's the one who took, took, brought me to the CW Network, and I will never, ever, ever, ever stop thanking him for that. I will never, ever, um, you know, he knows. New start, it's like going back to square one. Uh, we're going to start all over again and create new things in this great town. Before we talk about all that and visit with uh, Lou and Zena and, and uh, Tom and Dale, you're up there shooting some video for the TV show? Yes, sir. For Zena's show, Zena, Juliet, and Friends. And yes. Dale, you're doing some video. We'll do our shout outs. I was in the middle of just editing a whole nother show and he said, you have got to see this kid. Oh my God, he said, Lou Gazzaro, look him up, go to Facebook, you gotta see him. You guys, when Ron Garrett says it, it is what it is. Trust and believe that. And I said, oh, because Ron said it. Because you know, he is responsible for so many talented careers here in Las Vegas. I said, hold on a second, Ooh, put it all to the side, pause, let me send in another show. Let me check out Lou Gazzaro. And boy, was I impressed. Now, I, there's so much to you. Really quick, I want to I want to bring this up. You did a film. Oh, uh, is it Ooh. Bad Girl Island? Yeah, you know, where I I'm did from? a film. I'm from Bad Girl Island. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it was a small film, low budget, independent. We filmed it down in the Bahamas. It was originally oh called Sirens of Eleuthera, which is the, it's a larger long island on the outer, separates the Atlantic Ocean from the Caribbean. Nice. It's 110 miles long. It's only a mile wide at its widest point. So there's numerous areas along the island where you can 
stand. There's a little kids playing on the swing set, a corner store. It's you like can see that. the waves crashing in on the ocean here, and then you can see someone just standing knee deep in this perfect, still calm Caribbean, you know, throwing their fishing line in for grouper, fresh grouper. I was down there the entire month. Uh, I got to work with James Brolin, a veteran actor, Mr. Streisand, right? Uh, nice. Antonio Sabato Jr., Joanna Bacalso from Snow Dogs, who worked with Cuba Gooding, and, and a plethora awesome. of names. Just quickly to get into it, um, a story about uh, a movie producer from Hollywood who has a little vacation spot down in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. He goes down there just to get away from it all and falls asleep, has a dream. So he thinks it's a dream. And in his dream, this mystical woman comes, right? That's and, and now he's so married, cool. he's got kids and everything else. So, I mean, he's like, wow, this is intense. Mm -hmm. Can't get it out of his mind. And he says, I need to make a movie about this. And as he starts casting for the film, she shows, <laughs> she, or who she think, he thinks she is, shows up. And that's when all of these things start to happen. I don't want to give the entire film what away, a cool but uh, and it's a little drama thriller, you know, yeah. mystical, a little bit of that Creole voodoo esque kind of. I love it. It had the original Haitian Il uh, est movie, and they're doing the things around the fire and all yes. this stuff. Kind of it was big for me because uh, even though music's my passion. My grandfather's first cousin, uh, I used to say uncle, but you know, if we want to get technical, is Ben Gazzara, who yes. was a major, major film star. Uh, Ron knows Ben from the movies, and as many viewers will know, Run For Your Life, he had his own hit television mm -hmm. shows, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, he died a few years ago, but oh, so up until sorry. his death, I mean, he was even producing films and directing in Italy, yes. and if you look at his IMDb, DB, it's over 700 different films and productions. <laughs> He's been a part Incredible. Of. I mean, this is a you know superstar. So, a superstar. so when yes. I had the ability to put my feet in those shoes and step behind the camera, not just singing a song on a stage. Now I got to experience what that's like. I think that you would make a phenomenal actor, and uh, I think you have all the traits, all the qualities. And don't close your mind to it at all because you were all around no, no, entertainer. Yeah, and it's gonna come. And you know what? That's what uh, like I'm working with an entertainment attorney right now in Los Angeles, Curtis Shaw, and he told me it's going to film. Music and film is merging. Of course. Um, you can reach he more wants people. To, yeah, you can reach more people. And then this year stage. has forced us to do things in a safer environment where people right. can watch from their homes or watch from larger viewing screens safely yes. with distance. And even though we're excited to get back to normal and the vaccine's rolling out, my dad's an ER nurse uh, manager, really? so he got his vaccine already. Thank I'm God. Lying, I'm waiting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we want to get back to normal, and live shows have a certain energy, but... I'm going to get back but, to normal. But we can reach millions at a time, you know, <laughs> yes. from... From we the sure screen, can from the, from the screen, you know. I just say this was our just our little pandemic vacation. All it was just for us to get ourselves, you know, work on our talents and Reset, everything. Regroup. But you know what I want to do, Lou? I want to take another look at some more of you, a clip of you doing your thing. We'll be right back after this clip. Wasn't that amazing? <laughs> his performance is phenomenal. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm trying to learn how to properly say his name. Now, uh, Lou, oh God, Gonzaga. That's it, that's I it, it. Gonzaga. 
you know, I love Italian uh, dialect. I love the melody of it. It's so beautiful. That. Now, Loop and I were talking. He had been touring and traveling. He's been all over cruises and yeah. uh, performing. He's going through a transition now where he is going to be here in Las Vegas. And Lou has some amazing, phenomenal things that he is working on. We're not saying it all. We're not going to give it all away yet. But he is working on some great things coming up right here in Las Vegas. Do you want to talk to us? Talk sure. To I mean, uh, as you said, there's some things that we, we have in the works that we just aren't quite ready yet to divulge yet. the information. Gotta you know, come back wanna, and see Don't want to give it away before. It's like okay. being on the cover of ESPN. You know, you don't want to, oh. for the Super Bowl, you don't want to throw it out there That's yet, right. which is coming up soon, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, like you said, I was traveling all over the place. I was in Vegas yeah. the show for three and a half years. Amazing. Six shows a night, two nights a week. I didn't have time to breathe or do anything else around town. It was Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. And then after that, I joined up with the Las Vegas Tenors. We started to tour uh, for a little while, and but I wanted to do my own show, and the easiest way to do it was to travel and to build that following organically. Absolutely. And to do as many shows all over as I yeah. could. That way, I mean, Vegas is normally a transient audience anyway. You have people coming from all Everywhere. over the world. So I figured if I can go out to the world, then I can bring them back to me when I finally come back home and, and settle performing wise back here. And I did that. I mean, I went back to New York, uh, New Jersey, Atlantic City, the iconic resorts, international, Merv Griffin's uh, first, you know, legal casino in Atlantic City in New Jersey. I got to perform on the same stage that actually, again, Wayne Newton has been on, Frank Sinatra, Pavarotti, these amazing talents and do my own show there. You're in the right and major, spot. Major cruise lines have hired me to come in um, as a special guest fly-in performer to do concerts for, I mean, some of the largest, large cruise ships, 6,000 people. You come in for two, three days, and then you're gone. And then March 15th, it. 2020, oh, see you later, Lou. Go home for a little while. You know what's going to happen after this, though? Your show is going to be going to be a big success. We're putting it in the universe. We already know this, right? Because Vegas need youth and and to combine we need to mix the old with the new and we need to take the Absolutely. new and teach us to teach the new the classics and the old because that's where all the talent was you know, the truth. but your show is going to be a success because let me tell you all your friends from all those places you travel all around the world are going to be so dang tired of this pandemic and when it's soon as they can and soon as it's over everyone's coming yeah. to vegas and they all come and see lou gazard <laughs> it's the entertainment capital for yes. a reason right yes everyone's going to be coming to vegas and, that's, and, that's and vegas right. is going to thrive you watch the basis of the show will be all-encompassing yes. and it does pay tribute to the past and what Vegas has been where it's come from uh, it's a mixture of all those things it's not just a personal concert me just yeah. standing and singing songs it's an actual full production with a story and that's what we had talked about it's the story yes. that really goes out there and grabs people and brings them in LouGazzara.com you are doing something now here in Vegas. Yes, we just had a, a show last night. Again, it's getting back home. And we're oh still limited with a live audience, so most of the shows currently are still to mm -hmm. smaller venues or smaller audiences. It's, we're, we're just limited in what we can do safely. But at and least you can do it. Yes, and that's oh, the priority, that's so is doing it safely. So, yeah. I mean, I had a show about a week ago at the Italian American Club, which was more of the musical love affair based on my album, which is all different styles of music. And just last night over at Chianti Italian Restaurant, another local uh, venue that's allowing artists to be able the chance to perform and viewers the able the chance to experience it uh, we had more of a soul rock and blues style show uh, just I now I wanted to start we're going to be doing some theme shows across the, the city uh, at different the venues to give people a taste of that the different faces of Lou so to speak guitar so you see my friends at home you still it's it's coming back you can still like a lot of people I talk to they said there's nothing going on there's nothing going on but yes there are some things happening and this is one of those things you can come and 
and see Lou live. Um, but you may have, they may have to book it or um, everything. Everything is reservations right now. You have to make your now. reservations, you know, and you have to come out and see him again at this address you see here on the screen. Sundays at 11 a.m. I want you to tell my friends at home where they can see you, reach you, and um, get your schedule for all your upcoming events and shows. Absolutely. Uh, the easiest place is to go first to lugazara.com. That's my main website. It'll have links to all of the social media from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, it also has an entire calendar of upcoming performances, not just live shows, but also um, guest spots. I mean, as you mentioned, Ron Garrett is so influential. You can see me on his Las Vegas Rocks radio show. I mean, I'll be there from time to time, helping to promote events, and he'll, he'll be uh, amazingly gracious to have me as a guest so I can do that. We get to talk a little more in depth as we're doing today. Uh, I just had twin babies, a boy twin and a girl. Uh, so thank you. So they will be able to see lifestyle things and just kind of a behind the scenes if we're working on different productions or music. Get his CD, um, it's everywhere. Um, Apple Music, Amazon, iTunes, all the digital platforms. You have to check out his music. Um, it's beautiful. Zaina! That's right. It's absolutely. Zaina! Get out the Road J's dictionary and thesaurus. Zaina and Gatzara here on the CW. Uh <laughs> I like I like the way he said that. It's a Z thing.